Pinot Black, folks, and basically we still have our object there. We have Lovejoy leaving. We'll come back to this one in a minute. I've got these lovely shots here. I want to thank the Navy for these beautiful shots and all the armed services. And basically we'll click out of there. And we see that I've lost my security. Okay, Venus here. And more than likely, uh, guaranteed that the idea that we have the super giants all in focus here and what we've had for a long time. As you've seen this shot, we've seen it before, but we have zoomed in a lot more, okay? The sun is 10 point something, at least a quarter or so, or even probably more than that. So even if you just want to round it off and go high, okay, it's 11 times the size of Jupiter, okay? Now, Venus right now looks very close and so forth, and you can see the plasma ring, or whatever you want to call it, in space. They work in underwater astronauts, and they go out and grab by hand with their maneuverable packs, which basically maneuvers them around space just like a, uh, look up the Navy SEALs, and they have little things that they hang on to underwater and cruise around and sneak up on people and cut their throats and kill them if they're the enemy of the United States of America. Okay? Our space scientists have basically go to NASA. They are pictures of astronauts going out and grabbing satellites and putting them in the cargo bay. Uh, whether they have a cable and it's a secret, of which I think they do have a tether so they don't get, you know, basically I think believe it's safe. And I think in their photos they always try to self make them look like superheroes. Now they might not put a tether on them. Maybe it's they've learned that it's unsafe to go out with a tether that it can screw up possibly the whole mission of the ship. I'm not sure. But I think that they're safe. Whether it's a filament line, you just don't see it, and they can pull them back in. There's a lot of real heavy test line for fishing out there, so I think they're pretty damn safe. But you go to NASA, and you can see pictures of uh, astronauts going out and grabbing satellites, putting them in the cargo bay of space shuttle, this and that, and everything like that. And they're never going to tell you where all those space shuttles, just like we're never going to ever tell anybody where all the SR-71 Blackbirds and all the super-duper badass airplanes we've got. Because we love the United States Air Force and all the armed branches and the Navy, and they give these great shots, and probably an always a uh, combination of the Army and everything like that with these shots. So we got Jupiter there, and we have Super Giants action, because we know Jupiter right there is basically a good sizer to go by that basically you put 11 of those buggers right there in that shot, okay? And yes, we know the sun is farther away and so forth. Interesting little flare there, huh, ladies and gentlemen, and then darkness and so forth, because this shot will show you everything of color and CME action through space. Now, this one was taken back on the 31st. Uh, we'll pop to what we've had live there that I was, sh uh, I think I was going to show you earlier. I screwed up on a recording or something up back here. There's a CME we got tonight, live, pretty much, 21, 2318. You can see our time down here. Do the, the math on Zulu time. Uh, the most recent, anyway. I hit refresh, but I don't want to lose this dramatic CME that we got there. Uh, black and white, so it's a CME, and then like you can always see that anything that's bright is a star or something out there in space. And basically, let's take a look at the action we've got there that we think that basically how the scientists finally, uh, basically with the satellite technology that we've got looking at the moon right now, they magnetize two satellites together to be able to get a shot. So I'll hit this, hit custom, and we'll pop in 600%. Or we'll actually, we'll just go to a thousand. We'll go one, two, one. There we go. Should be able to get us, and bam, there we go. We can see a lot more now, can't we, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, just like when they hang the pictures on the wall at NASA and blow them up even more. Walk around and look at, wow, look at this. Wow, there could be something there. There's this, that. There's nothing there, but we could sure live on that planet, couldn't we? We're not going to tell anybody about it. Got to keep secrets for rich power, money, and control. So that's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. So inter very interesting how that's not a satellite out there, or if, and if, and only if, it would never be that big because that satellite is so humongous far back. Basically, it's one of these H1s, basically this one, that we got Lovejoy, and we can see that and everything like that. You see Earth, and we see our interesting cluster that nobody wants to talk about that basically comes out at our south pole on Earth, okay, comes up in our south pole on Earth, and is giving all of the action down on Antarctica and also West Coast, okay, in the dark. Because when we rotate to the east, Hawaii flips around, and this cluster or whatever stars that are in this here interesting cluster that nobody tells us anything about and which they're going to be starting to tell us about because uh, I've got the biggest news organization in America, which is basically Rock. Uh, and B, and then that's all I got to say. I can say that stuff, okay? Uh, I was looking at moon stuff tonight that I'm basically going to be disclosing what I have 
figured out on the moon, and basically since the government looks at everybody's, you know, that could be a considerable person, this, that, whatever, uh, they looked in my email box and seen what I found on the moon a long time ago, and so you've gotten all this moon stuff speed, sped up of what you see for shots from the moon and so forth. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try to bust their balls when they lie to you, or to see how much faster you start seeing more moon action. If you go to, uh, if you go to Ping or go to the MSN search sites tonight, you will see some interesting footage of the moon, a big crater that you never seen before. I went and start looking at it. They throw it on the news, mainstream. Let everybody know about it. Don't let him break news. Okay. Uh, we got Venus up there to the left, Earth on this shot. Let's take a look what we got for dates. We got everything looks like we're getting pretty first for dates. Okay, so you got real interesting stuff. You can you can freeze these shots, take your pictures, and zoom in on stuff and help NASA. I wouldn't send NASA anything you find. If you find something, save it for yourself. Okay, let them hire some people to look at it, like us. Okay, if you're out of work and you want a job, tell NASA you want to look for stars. If you know if you watch my channel and you like looking at stars, okay, maybe they'll give you a job. There you go, job creation from Beano Black. Okay, so. We have that shot there, this shot, that was one there, and I'll click back. And the sun is, we know, exactly a little bit more than 10, and it almost four sizes the size of 10, excuse me, it is at least 11 sizes the size of Jupiter, the sun is, okay? So we know the sun gets blocked in this shot, and we know they turned the shot around a long time ago when they were... When found the satellite, okay, we found the moon satellite and Earth and everything, they marked it over here and we basically busted their balls, no matter what, NASA, we love you, we love our, everything American, and we love the shots that we get and everything like that, let's zoom in on this star cluster real fast, and I'll just hit 600 again real fast, boom, 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 and so here we are at a thousand percent, we'll slide over, and then we'll come down, we can see the magnetic lines and we'll come down on them, and we should be able to plop in and find our little, uh, and that's also very interesting there, too, folks. Check that out. Uh, that could be Jupiter, though. Don't get me wrong on that. I'm not sure what they got marked on here. But they did have Earth marked on this as we come down through. But we also see other lovely shots. But that basically is letting you know that we're at the shot. And then we'll plop back up over here to the right real fast because I think I was too far left. And we'll go up. And there's Comet Lovejoy. We get a nice view of Comet Lovejoy going through. And as you can see, it's going to help anybody that finds planets and stars as it's going through space, a gigantic headlight. Okay, Every time one of these comets comes around, they can find all kinds of new positions and stuff along this. this will be research, they'll be saturating this down there at Astor or whatever. Interesting black planet right there. Check that out right there. Up, up there in somewhat of a deep, dark hole in space because, as you can see, it takes a long time for light to get through that hole there. So we have a portal in space there somewhat, something. Basically, it just comes true because all this light and stuff from the supergiants is so humongous as we go over to the well and realize that that's the well and that's where the sun's at, okay? It gets blocked out so you can get all these shots. Mars is up close. We slide over. And there'll probably be another video tonight, folks, because I basically got back in here and start showing you this stuff. And that's our interesting cluster, blown up at a thousand percent. We have all kinds of stuff in there, okay? There's Earth. Earth looks real big right now, too, because it's so bright because of the sun from the supergiants, i.e., the sun is in the supergiants. Now, the sun is 11 times, and that's rounded off. It's a 10 point something rod or whatever the hell bigger than uh, Jupiter's, okay? Bigger, so 11 Jupiters. I'm trying to. Stumbling, I'm stumbling and bumbling, but anyway, we have proven that the idea that this is some kind of plasma blast or the uh, one of the moons of Venus, if I'm correct, is basically, because I got it from NASA on their site, the gray background and everything like that, that they have in the past found shots of volcanoes action on moons of Venus, okay? Now, Venus is really bright and big, and look at your side, it's the camera's real close, okay? So the supergiants are huge, folks bazillions of miles, okay? It's billions of miles back to the back supergiants that I showed you in the last couple of videos, okay? So, uh, there's not much to blow in there looking at the supergiants and so forth and everything, but you can see how huge the supergiants are, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the sun is not just putting that glow off, okay? So, also got to be careful because people can get on the internet and go, holy crap, the sun's blowing up. No, the sun's not blowing up. Now, I'll try to do another video tonight and maybe do some movies and we'll see all the uh, CME and the blowing action of the sun that I've showed you in the past, which is very interesting because every day it just looks a little bit different. You see a little bit different action. It slowed down for a little bit and then it's picked back up of recent and uh, whammo. Okay? The sun in the supergiants, folks. The sun is just rounded off 11 of these here Jupiters. Okay? 
So if you got 11 of them, I would just ideally wise think that, okay, about right there would be about as big as the sun can get, okay? As big as it could get with all the glow, okay? Now, remember, this is just a core shot, okay? So when you think of the size of that, and then you look at how big Venus looks in this shot right here because it's putting that force field glass off. It's not a reflection, folks, and that's what I think NASA is pissed off about is that we figured out that the inner lens flare, BS, okay? That is actual action, the CME action out of the supergiants and the sun and why don't they just admit it? The supergiants combination in the sun has got so much goddamn action going on right now that it's making these planets react like we've seen in the past years, okay? 2007, uh, I think I had footage of Jupiter. Went back in the archives and found where Jupiter did this big old spit off, okay? And it looks just like when they have what they've seen in volcano activity on the moons of Venus, okay? Now, maybe they're wrong on that. I would think that they must have really had weighted evidence to say that there was volcanoes on the moon before. Okay, didn't really ever see shots at it, but we did see shots where basically Venus put this spurt off like this, okay, and it's not an inner lens flare, because check out how far back it is, what kind of a lens flare would you be getting off all this supergiant sun action, you see, so it's, we've showed lately on all the videos of H1 and so forth that people put together is the planets put off some kind of, off of their atmosphere, okay, and Hopefully they've got it all down right to what we could and couldn't live on. But it's starting to look more and interesting that the idea that maybe possibly, but it would be dangerous with Venus, but the idea that it would be a lot warmer than Earth to live on, wouldn't it? Okay? What's the atmosphere? They've always told us. Do we believe what they tell us anymore? Not really. You really don't. I mean, I wouldn't go there either, but you really don't believe what the hell they're telling you because we got all this right here. Okay? Where the hell is it coming from? And what the hell is it? Okay? Because it's all right there, and yes, the supergiant action is warming it all up, and we can see Lovejoy there. So let me pop out to 400, or actually just pop down to 200, and we'll look at this, okay? So we got this shot. We've got a lot of plants around here that basically we would think more than likely, since we've seen Lovejoy around Jupiter before, that either this is Jupiter or this is Jupiter. But what's bothering me in the past is the idea that they, uh, we have this huge, the hugest should be Jupiter, okay? But we got this here, planet cluster there. We also have, that should be Jupiter, we would think. Now, we do see Jupiter in this shot that they've got marked for us. Well, that was Venus marked there. So you could flip that around and take a look at that. Uh, so you would think that more than likely that might be Venus out there. And then it's been reacting to, so this might be Venus down there. So everybody that knows how to read these real good, I'm getting used to it. But the idea that when we have big ass, when I know the supergiants are out there, they should have never told us about the supergiants because we know it's there. Okay, Supergiants is there, and you've seen the big old meatball in the back door where Jupiter's at, in the darkness of Earth right now, on our back door, because Venus and Mars and Mercury are all out here in front of the sun, i.e., Mars is right there, okay, in the well by the, by the sun. And then you've got an interesting Supergiants action right here. Look at all these huge planets right here in this asteroid belt right there. And... Uh, I'm the, I found me some Milky Way shots I can show you, and yes, uh, there's partial this. This could be the Milky Way. Uh, it's not really sure if that's the Milky Way or not, but the idea that the sun is in here, and it's in the supergiant's main sequence, and we have this area here, and we have this area here, and this area here. So this is Milky Way galaxy. What galaxy is this over here, and what galaxy is this back here? Okay? So we have galaxies melding. No matter what, Lovejoy moving out. Uh, working on time, trying to talk in as much as you realize that the supergiants are huge, okay? Venus is looking very large because it's close to the shot, okay? Uh, the other camera is all the way on the other side of the shot, okay? So, and then that's what it's getting on the other side. It's getting Jupiter, okay? So when you're looking at this shot and then you go to this one here, you realize how big and bright that is and how huge Jupiter is way out there, okay? Then we're zoomed in and look how humongous the supergiants and the sun look, okay? Because the, the sun would be probably something like this, okay? Okay? Make everybody realize that the sun could be something that big, okay? Putting that much glow off and stuff when it's flaring? Quite possibly. But you know that by up here, the whiteness and stuff like that, and by looking at the total other side of space, the idea that the sun is probably that damn big, Okay, that damn big right there. But then on the back door, what the hell is doing that? 
super giants, ladies and gentlemen. The wing. More in another video tonight.